If we want to show tabular data in Cognos Analytics, we would use a list. But if we want to pivot our data, then we have to use a cross tab. Uh, I will first add one cross tab. I will go here to toolbox and I will add one cross tab like this. I will click on OK and then we will add some columns. Now we will first start with the simplest cross tabs. So I will add years on rows. And I will add some measure as a column. I will add quantity like this. And this is a simple cross tab. Uh, we can also uh, place uh, our measure on rows. So, for example, if I add another cross tab here, click on OK. Uh, this time I can place uh, months or as columns. And I can place by measure as bro. It is also possible to have uh, such view. But the most traditional view of our cross tab would be like this. I will add another cross tab uh, here. I will click on OK. And then I will add years on rows and months as columns. And then we have to add our measure. Our measure quantity could be placed in here or in this smaller cell. I will place it in here. It's much easier. And this is traditional view of a cross tab. Now, in this case, we have a default measure. We can see that we have a property default measure and that a default measure is quantity. We can also see that in here. And Cognos will use default measure whenever uh, it doesn't know what measure to use. So, but it is also possible to do this. I will go on undo. And then I will add quantity like this. I will add it here below our uh, columns. And then I will use another measure, let's say revenue, and I will place it like here. Now we have nested measures, and this time we don't have a default measure. There is no default measure, and, but this is also a valid cross tab. I will again use undo, and I will only add our measure quantity. Now we saw earlier that it is possible to add the measure as a column, and this is still possible. I can add quantity again here, like a new column. And in this case, I have something that is like a total, total per rows, because the total of all of these values is actually presented here. But we can add a regular totals. If we select this area here, and if we go to totals, and then default summary, we would get our total, but only below. We wouldn't get our uh, totals per rows, because we have this measure here. But we can change this. We can still achieve that uh, kind of view. I will use undo and then undo. I will just do things in reverse. First, I will add our total. So I will select this area. I will click here and I will say default summary. And now I have my totals and for rows and for columns. And then I will add my quantity uh, as a new column. I can add it here. And we can see uh, that the values in this uh, two columns for uh, total are the same. So total of, of this whole area is 89 millions and total of this is also 89 uh, millions. Now we can also do the stacking. For stacking we will use another column, for example quarter, and we will place it here below. So it's possible to also do uh, this. And now we can uh, see our quantity uh, per year and per uh, quarter. We can also add a month here, like a, a nested a month. So this is just a partial uh, nesting. We are only nesting months into quarters and not into years. So it's also possible to get, have uh, this kind of view. I will change this property rows per page to 500 so we can see the whole uh, cross tab. So we can see all the uh, rows. And uh, this way uh, we can uh, have uh, this uh, view for quarters and months and uh, this view for years. And now uh, we can talk a little bit about terminology for cross tabs. Uh, this here that I have selected is one node. Uh, this here is also one node. This is one node and this is one node. So those are called nodes. And all of those nodes only have one column. So for example, this is quantity, uh, this is month, uh, this is year, but only this node here has two members. So these columns, they are members. And here we have a member quarter and member for month. And I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you how we can transform our list into cross tab. 
for that I will jump here to page 2 here we have one list and I want to pivot by this column so I will select this column here I will go here to three dots and here we have a command pivot list to cross tab so when I click here uh, months uh, will become uh, columns but now we don't have a command to do that in reverse so there is no reverse command the only thing we can do is to use undo and then we will uh, get again our list